continuing our series on put your ass where your heart wants to be. Last week we were talking about how when you make that commitment, when you do put your butt where your heart wants to be, you become literally a different person. I'm convinced that your DNA changes, but certainly you, be, you have gone from a passive, weak acceptor of the situation into an aggressive, audacious, heroic confronter of, of your own reality and facer of your own fears. You become a different person from one minute to the next. But beyond that, what I, the next stage of that is that not only do we ourselves see ourselves as different, but the world reacts to us differently. People respond to us in a different way. They sense it. Somehow they sense, I mean, here's kind of a, a common story that we've all either have had happen to us or we've heard of it, is a single mom uh, who's been a jogger or something like that, she suddenly decides, for whatever reason, that she wants to run the Ironman. She wants to go to Hawaii, she wants to do the full thing, the ocean swim, the bike, the whole thing. And she puts the word out, you know? She tells everybody and she commits. And what happens is all kinds of happy accidents start happening that help her. You know, she finds that the local Foot Locker running store says, here, we're going to give you all the running shoes you want. Or um, people will, a friend of hers will say, well, you should do a GoFundMe. I'll organize it for you. And the next thing you know, she's got airfare to Hawaii and she's got this and that. Because people see her as a different person, that when she's made that ass where your heart wants to be commitment, she has become a hero and that draws people to her. Now, I'm going to tell you a story that I told in a couple of videos ago, so, uh, but forgive me, I'm going to tell it again. It's for my own life. When I had, um, had finished the, the manuscript for Gates of Fire and was trying to sell it, it was 800 pages long. It was a monster. And my agent, Sterling Lord, told me at the time, he said, Steve, I can't sell this. It's too long. You're going to have to cut 300 pages out of this. And I thought, I was totally daunted. 300 pages, how am I ever going to do this? I was basically ready to give up. And then out of the blue, I got a note. And so this note right here from a guy named Tom Ginsburg, who was a friend of Sterling's, who was the president of Viking Press at the time, a really kind of a top-line New York literary guy who didn't really know me. He had read the book, but he didn't really know me. And just... Out of the goodness of his heart, he wrote a note, and it said, among the things he said was, there's a first-rate novel in here, and I know that you can bring it out. And this note meant everything to me. Now, in the context we're talking about now, what was really going on energetically was that I had become a hero in the sense that I had written this book and had really put my ass where my heart wants to be. And Tom Ginsburg, although he didn't know me from Adam, responded to that. The world responds to you differently once you've committed. So it's not an accident. That didn't come out of nowhere. Now I'm going to read one last thing here. This is from, it's from the War of Art. It's a thing I quoted in the War of Art. This is from a book called The Scottish Himalayan Expedition by a guy named W.H. Murray. And it's about a story about these Scottish mountain climbers that wanted to get it together to go climb in the Himalayas. And they didn't have any money. They didn't know what they were doing. They didn't have any contacts. But they started, and amazingly, things started to fall into place for them. Again, this is once you put your ass where your heart wants to be, the world sees you differently and responds to you differently. I'm going to read this to you from the Scottish Himalayan Expedition. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid pl plans, that the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would not otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issued from the decision, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents and meetings and material assistance which no man could have dreamed would come his way. I have learned a deep respect for one of Goethe's couplets, quote, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, magic, and power in it. Begin it now. So this, that's a great quote. And the, the point, again, is that when we turn that corner and really commit, really put our ass where our heart wants to be, 
not only are we different from our own point of view and our own experience of ourselves, but the world sees us differently and responds in a very positive way to us. And next week, I want to talk about a whole other thing that heaven sees us differently too. The goddess sees us differently too. That's coming next week.